Hello everyone. In the previous week, we have created this simple example which used to send an SMS. We have created this button, we have run this simple code to send an SMS, and we have added a permission for send SMS. Now, I have tried this example on two different emulators. The first one is API 22, the second one is API 25, which means this with Android version 5 and this with Android version 7. Now, when I click here on send SMS, everything is working fine. So when we go here and go to the SMS, as you can see here, we have send welcome. Now, what about if I need to try the same example on Android 7, which is API greater than 23? Let's click on send. As you can see here, it gives you error. When we go here to see the error from the lock cut or from the run, so when we go to the run, you will see something called you don't have a permission to send SMS. Why? Because from Android 6, which is from API 23 and above, the permission has been changed from design time to runtime permission. Now, how can we solve this problem? Let's go here. And now, let's take this code here. So when the user click on send, I'm going to check at first what is the version. So now here, if build, okay, if build dot version dot SDK integer less than 23, which is Android 5 and less, in this case, no problem, run this code because Android 5 and the versions which come before Android 5 don't need runtime permission. Otherwise, what about if it is Android 6 and above, which is API 23 and above? In this case, we need to ask the user if he want to allow this application to send SMS from his mobile or not. In this case, I'm going to use this code, which is activity compact dot request permission, give them this, then array of, and here in the array of, I'm going to use this command, which is manifest, make sure to use manifest with Android, dot permission dot send sms comma and one two three as request code this means if android is six or greater than six in this case we are going to request the permission from the user for the following permission which is send sms with this request code this request code will be used now here on the on request permission result. So when we go here, before the last curly bracket, we are going to call this function, which is on request permission result. In this function, at first, I'm going to check the request code. So if request code equal equal one, two, three, which means the request come from the button because we have sent one, two, three with this click of the button, then in this case, we are going to check if the user accept the permission or not using the following grant result zero grant result is an array to store if the user accept or reject the permission and why it is zero because we don't have any permission except this one and as you know the array always starts from zero as an index so in this case if grant zero equal equal package Sorry, this one, package manager. I know it's a problem with the package. Yes, this one, package manager dot permission granted. In this case, we are going to execute the same line of code for sending SMS, which is this two line. So just 
copy these two lines and paste them here. Now, this example is ready to work on Android 6 and above. Let's run it now on Android 7 and click on OK and let's see the result now. OK, so let's try to click on Send. As you can see here now, the application start to ask the user if he need to allow this app to send SMS. Let's click on Allow. Now the send SMS has been worked perfectly. So when we go here to the SMS, you are going to see this message, yes, with welcome to this number. So in this video, we have talked about how can we use the runtime permission for Android 6 and above. And see you in the next week.